I said, I'm here with your MacBook Air, and we're trying to connect it to this, um, we've got a, an analog connector connected to the mini port, and it goes over to this device, which is a projector, it's a Toshiba TLP B2 data projector. And if you look up on the, the wall here, it's just showing the logo, meaning it's not connected. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is what will not work. It's, this is something that typically works on other Windows installations, but it won't work for you. So let's look over here. I'm going to right click on the desktop, and I go to personalize, and then over here is display settings. Click on that, and then usually you can do something like identify monitors here. And this would normally bring up the other device. Um, but for us, it's, it's ineffective. Okay, so let's get rid of this. All right, so now, this is the second time through, we're going to um, be using a different way to configure that external projector. And you may have to do the same thing when you're back in, in Johnstown. Okay, let's go back over to the desktop. We're in boot camp on your MacBook Air. And I'm going to right click on the desktop. And you'll see that there's this NVIDIA control panel entry here. Okay, so we'll just click on that. And after a few seconds, the control panel will come up. And then if you look up here, there's a menu on the left-hand side here, a tree structure. I'm going to come down to this place that says Set Up Multiple Displays. And I'll click that. And then over here, it says Set Up Multiple Displays. And then down here, it it already sees this Toshiba here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back out over here and look at the, the desktop here and the wall. Can you see the two of them? Yes. And when I click on this Toshiba here, nothing will happen immediately until I go ahead and I click this apply button here. When I click the apply button, it, the screen goes black, but if you look out into the distance, you can see that the Goldblatt Systems logo is showing up. And then I'd go ahead and I'd say, yes, I want to keep these changes. And now I have this external display. Okay? So that, that should get you to be able to uh, do a lecture using the uh, external projector. All right? Good luck.